Hi, this is Carlos Cousins, and this is a writing question that zeroes in on the right way of referencing a subject when speaking about the author of a book. Um, we're going to go ahead and read this together and try to figure out why the answer choices here may or may not make sense. Frightening even the most even-tempered of viewers into question, the hygiene of treadmill, handles, and cloth napkins. The effect of Dr. Hodgkin's where the germs are is to make the mundane threatening. So, the first half of the sentence is fine, and what's being called into question here is this clause here. The effect of Dr. Hodgkin's where the germs are is to make the mundane threatening. This would be fine on its own. The problem that you should uh, watch out for when you see something like this is that this book, Where the Germs Are, isn't having an effect itself. The person creating the effect is Dr. Hodgkin. It, it is the person that creates that, that effect um, that makes the mundane threatening through the book where the germs are. So anything that has the book doing something, an inanimate object, um, is for this exams, for, uh, for the purpose of this exam, not correct. Um, I understand that you could make an argument that an inanimate object does produce certain reactions in people. Um, and it's not completely clear how, why, why this would be wrong. But for this exam, it is the author that is making, um, th that is doing the action. So anywhere you see the book doing the action, that'll be wrong. The effect of Dr. Dr. Hodgkin's Where the Germs Are would be wrong. The effect of Where the Germs Are by Dr. Hodgkin then would be wrong. Where the germs are, but Dr. Hodgkin has an effect in, would be wrong. And then we're left with these two options here. Dr. Hodgkin makes the mundane threatening in where the germs are, and Dr. Hodgkin has had the effect of making the mundane threatening in where the germs are. Um, what you want to do when you are struggling between two sentences that are worded differently uh, in terms of grammar is go for the simplest one that is grammatically correct and communicates the the ideas that are essential here. So, you see this last, uh, the second option here has many more words. It makes it uh, passive, has had the effect of making the mundane threatening. Um, and of making here, it's not as direct as Dr. Hodgkin makes, which is much clearer. Here you're going to have the subject, the object, and what he's making threatening here. The, sorry, the, the verb and the object. And it's um, there's no necessary verb tenses being used. So this is the simplest, most direct and correct answer. So for this exam, what you want to do is zero in on the most concise way of saying something. Um, and whenever you see something that's talking about an author in a book, make sure that the person doing, producing the effect on the audience is the author rather than giving that power to the book itself. Um, I hope that that helped with this sort of problem, and happy prepping.